but also the community. Uh, as I say, stated earlier, the city has a lot of good people. Uh, the vast majority are law-abiding citizens that work day in and day out to provide for their families. We have a very few people, that, that minority, that vocal minority, that create most of the problems in the city. They're the ones who are committing all the crimes. These are the individuals that we hear about day in and day out. Um, unfortunately, the, things like this occur. Uh, it, it's a phenomenon that's going across the nation. If you look at the entire nation, most people are law-abiding citizens, but we have those groups of people that do not want to abide by society's rules and, and laws. And what happens ultimately is they commit crimes and at times take someone's life. What's your reaction to having three of these incidents within a three-day period, though? It was very difficult during the holiday season. Uh, we had a lot of people who were off, so we had to recall people uh, during that time to come in. So it takes away from our officers personal time from their family time. But the officers are dedicated to, to giving the best that we can to the citizens and also providing some justice to the families. Do you have any idea how the 15-year-old got his hands on a gun? At this time, we do not. Uh, the 15-year-old did come in. Uh, he was turned in by his parents to, her, to the chief. Uh, but when we went to speak to him, he did request an attorney. So at this time, no, we do not know how he was able to obtain a handgun. How many incidents is that this year of people just turning themselves in directly to the chief? I do not know offhand. Okay. What do you think about that, having a 15-year-old essentially have his parents come in and walk him in? What's your reaction to that? As, uh... I, I give credit to the parents. Uh, the parents were the ones who made the decision <laughs> to bring him in. Uh, they, that's a credit to them. Uh, we need more parents to actually stand up for not only what's right, but also for the community and you know, let us know when people are committing crimes. The community needs to take a stand. They need to make the decision that telling the police who's committing crimes is not bad. It's not the bad thing. When they do that, we're able to complete our jobs. When we com commit, complete our jobs, you have a safer community. Okay. Great. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.